Hi everyone, Annette Kessler here with a new tutorial and today we are making three pop-up Valentine cards that are really fun and simple. So for a first card you would need one three and a half by eight double-sided cardstock and then eight identical hearts. You can print the hearts and trace them onto a paper or you can just draw one, make a template and then trace it and cut the other seven um, you can use pre-cut shapes if you have them as long as the heart's size match the inside of the card. So then you're going to fold all the hearts in half and then simply attach them back to back while the fold faces the same direction. So we're going to apply glue on one half and then attach the other half and the fold line should always face the same direction. We're basically creating sort of a fan of hearts that is going to be opened when we open the card. So once we have all that glued together, just leave it aside to dry and then take your cardstock piece and fold it in half. I've also cut another square just for the front. This is optional. For more decoration, you can add stickers, you can add letters, whatever you want, it's optional. You don't need it to make the card work. So I'm just going to add that piece in the front for contrast and extra color. And now we're going to attach the fan of hearts and then make it pop when we open the card. It's a really fun and cool card. I'm just making sure that all the parts separate and then apply glue to the bottom of the two pieces on the edge and attach it while aligning it with the fold line of the card. Make sure that the heart is in the center and uh, that all the leaves of the fan open properly when you open the card. Then you have room to add writing or stickers or letters and write something personal on the right, on the left, on both sides. Isn't that a cool card? Fun, easy, and romantic. For our next card, we're going to need an 8x8 eight eight double-sided cardstock, just a square. Then we're going to fold it in half, open it, and then fold it in half again. And I always use a bone folder to burnish all my folds. And then fold it corner to corner diagonally, like this. Then we're going to insert or fold the two diagonal lines towards the inside, like this and make it fold and pop up. This mechanism, we've done it before, but now we're going to turn it into a Valentine card. So on one of the corners, just draw a heart on that piece there with a pencil, and then cut it out with your scissors while it is still folded diagonally in half. So we're going to cut around the lines that I drew with the pencil. And the heart should meet right about there. This is the shape that you should have, more or less. And you can tweak it and see if you like it. Maybe trim a little here and there until you're happy with your heart shape. Now we're going to use this heart as a template for the other two squares. So just open the heart, flatten it on the next square, and trace with pencil. Just to make, to make sure that it looks good. So I'm just tweaking it. Okay, so now I'm happy. So trace it with the pencil on the next square and then cut it again with the scissors. We're going to make three of those hearts. So 
This is the second one. Just going around with my scissors. And then we're going to use the same heart for the third square. So basically our pop-up card will have three hearts and one square. So now trace it to the final square. And you can actually make the fourth one a heart too if you want. But I find it a little bit more interesting and more clean. The design is cleaner if you leave one square to close the card. Okay, so once we have everything cut, we can go ahead and make some decorations. You can leave the card as is, but it's a little bit boring to me. Just make sure that when you fold it, everything is all the corners are folded properly. So in just in the interest of making it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to make some hearts to cover the inside and then some squares. So I just want to show you how to make these hearts. I'm basically using the heart on my card and then I'm tracing it to another piece of paper and I want to make it slightly smaller than the heart on the card because I want it to have like a little frame around around the heart. So we need a 4x4 four four square of paper and then we trace the heart on it and it's always a good idea to cut a heart when the square is folded. This way you make sure that both sides are equal. So then I'm cutting the heart according to the line that I drew. You see that it's about the same size. Since I want to make it a little bit smaller, then I'm going to cut away about eighth of an inch around the heart. And this will make it smaller and will form a perfect frame around the heart. So I'm using this heart to trace two more hearts using it as a template and then I'll have other hearts for the card as well. So just cut them out with your favorite paper and the squares the original square on the card is 4 by 4 so again you would need to make it around 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths to form a frame around the square that you attach. When you attach the hearts you need to align their fold line with the fold line on the card so the card will adhere properly and work properly when you open and close it. So align the two folds together to make sure that they work perfectly. So I'm attaching the hearts and of course you can add writing, you can add stickers, you can add glitter, you can add whatever type of embellishments that you want for your pop-up card. And then now I'm going to attach the hearts, the squares, sorry. So one on the bottom here, and then one on the other side. And I think I also want a heart on the front, so I'm going to cut another heart. Smaller this one, this is just eyeball it, just as a decoration. Again, when it comes to embellishing and decorating, you can add whatever you want, whatever you have in your stash. So I'm adding a little bit of glue for a ribbon and then I want to hide that ribbon with a strip of paper. And Once that's dry I can turn it over and tie the ribbon. Tying ribbons is sometimes kind of annoying because you want it to look pretty so you need to remember the direction of the loops and I always get confused with that. Let's trim the edges. Okay, so we have this card, this pop-up card here. 
the second one, which is also pretty easy and fast, but looks really cool. Just want to make sure that the ribbon looks good. Okay, so for our, let's see that it opens properly. Good. So for our third card, we would need two pieces of cardstock. One is eight by five and the other is eight an eighth by five and eighth. So we're going to fold the smaller piece in half and then we're going to cut strips. So we're going to cut two cuts in the same length about four of them in different length as you can see that I'm doing and these are going to be our pop-up mechanism that we're going to attach the hearts to. So once you have these strips cut, you're going to push them forward and fold them so they will pop up when you open and close the card. So you push them forward and then you fold the card in half again while the strips are pushed to the front like this. So I went ahead and cut some hearts and now I'm going to attach them to the front of those 90 degrees strips and that will give me the pop-up effect that I want. Really cool and easy and fast. If you don't want to waste any time but you want to have nice cards then these three cards are your solution because they're really, really fast to make and they're fun. They're pop-up, so they're a bit more unique than just a regular card. So now it looks like the hearts are just standing there popping up. So you can attach hearts to hearts and add extra dimension build small towers and also attach some hearts to the front and the back of the card. And this one looks really cool. And then once you've done adding the hearts that you want, simply fold the card, apply glue to both sides. This is first let's fold the other piece in half as well because we need to attach both pieces together. So apply glue to both sides of that pink card, the pink part on the front and on the back. And then attach it to the folded gray square to complete your card. Aligning it of course with the edges and then you have your third pop-up card which is really cool and for the front for the outside of the card you can add more embellishments if you want to this part here. So I really hope you like this video. If you did Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to enjoy all the videos that I make. So this is the complete card and let's bring the other two. So we have our three pop-up cards. They all open and pop up and have nice heart shapes and they're really fun, cool, romantic and I'm sure they're going to make someone that you love smile. So thank you very much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.